to Good Day, where we love local. So yesterday, Diane, you chatted with local Harlequin romance author Jill Kemmerer, and today, another local writer with small town Northwest Ohio mystery on her mind. Sin Mackley joins us this morning. Good morning. Thanks morning. for being here today. Thanks for having me. So you you know your way around a newsroom a little bit. I uh, worked <laughs> in uh, news television news promotions, and I have also worked as a crime writer. So I've. Uh, I get a lot of good inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of material for a really interesting Never book. ending every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, there's a lot that goes on in a newsroom. We hear a lot of things. What are you writing about? What's your genre for folks who haven't picked up one of your well, books? Well, I write mysteries. I write what generally is called cozy mysteries, which means they're not too spicy, not too violent. Okay. Uh, they're not, not going to give you nightmares, cussing. hopefully. Yeah. Well, I hope not, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sometimes I have nightmares when I'm trying to finish them, but <laughs> the reader should be okay. <laughs> so what, uh, what made you say, you know what, I'm going to start jotting down some of these, <laughs> these things that are happening around me and put them into a novel? Well, I gotta say, I'm, so when I was like, if you'd ask me when I was six what I wanted to be, I would say I want to be a writer, like Laura Ingalls Wilder. I knew mm. that. And then when you work in a newsroom, you just start hearing the kind of stuff that sounds like it only happens in books, and then you start storing it up. And the, this series, the Good Grace series, is really inspired by things that actually happened in Northwest Ohio, by people, law enforcement people we've, we've met and heard things about. And uh, then you just, when you get on a roll, then you start just storing everything. And I, I have a t-shirt that says, careful, you might end up in my novel, which <laughs> it happens to everyone. I, everything that happens just goes in a little notebook in the back of my mind of a file. And especially like, you know, interesting crimes, you're just like, you know, I always say I uh, write fiction because real life is too unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. And of course, these are taking place in Northwest Ohio. You said, hey, I'm getting some inspiration from mm -hmm. what's actually happening. So lay the foundation of the Good Grace series. Well, it's um, kind of a play on a fish out of water story. It is a small town, maybe somewhat similar to Brian, okay. uh, but I'm, I'm not naming she's anything. she's not saying that. Yeah. Not saying that. Uh, but it's a story of a gal who has left a small town, gone to the big city, kind of a goth chick, likes to wear black, mm -hmm. become an artist, and then her grandfather mysteriously dies, and she gets the farm, and she comes home. And I know this is going to be a surprise, but it turns out she meets a hunky law enforcement guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they solve a mystery, which, you know, <laughs> and... Uh, the pl and it's sort of like how this you would think she would be the person out of water but no she embraces it she loves to cook she loves to craft she wants to be a church lady but it's the people who aren't quite willing to accept her Ooh. because she doesn't look like they think okay. that someone who wants to be a farm mm -hmm. and a uh, part of what i wanted to address there is that people have a lot of people that aren't from small towns or the midwest have a lot of preconceptions about m midwesterners or mm -hmm. small town people and i've had you know uh, online friends that i met that uh they've only lived in big cities and they're just surprised to hear that there is an art scene in <laughs> little towns or that everybody's just not awful <laughs> and uh i wanted to you know play on that and i also wanted to do something with having the hero of the book, uh, Bobby Grace, having a very clean cut her hero who doesn't seem to like have like a dark side, but to try to show that a person who is upright can be an interesting, complicated, oh. fun person too. Oh, and okay. Bobby's kind of based on a couple of law enforcement individuals that some of uh, the ladies I worked in news with were crushing on. <laughs> well, well, I. I don't know. We're not going to name names of those yeah. either, are And we? I'm sure this never happens that yeah. people crush on that. <laughs> it's only in the books. It's only in books. That never happens. You know, speaking of that, though, you know, what kind of research goes into, you know, obviously uh, you'll file away things as, as they come on, but uh, do you do more research when it comes oh, to, to getting yeah, into these? Uh, yes, very, very much so. It's... Uh, I'm lucky in that a lot of this is written in a contemporary time in a country that I live in, mm -hmm. so it's available. But I, um, for, for one of the books, uh, I mean, I call people, I look up like what do the people wear in their uniforms? What is the structure of a small town? For mm -hmm. one of these books, I was looking up different uh, scheduling scenarios that police 
police officers are trying out. Sure. And for one of them, I had to, I, I sent this message to a, a cousin of mine who was a nurse practitioner, like, hey, by the way, how, where could a person get shot that they would be in danger, but <laughs> they could survive by the side of the road for 30 minutes, but still be in good enough shape to fight somebody three months later? <laughs> oh, and hi. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I added, wait, while. oh, asking for a book. Right. <laughs> and then yeah. she's like, oh, let me check with a surgeon. Oh, funny. And so I was like researching like how deep arteries are. <laughs> but so her, Google, her Google search is quite interesting. Oh, my Google yeah. searches, I'm surprised they're not black helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like. But you're doing the research very authentic. Right. For those who want to get your hands on, on, on your books, how can we go about mm -hmm. that? Well, they are on Amazon. Uh, as ebooks and paperbacks, Sin Mackley. Uh, also, uh, if you go to a local bookstore, they can order them for you. Okay. Okay. Good. And, so, if you uh, want to support the local bookstores, and mm -hmm. I also will be turning up at the Way Library. Oh, okay. uh, At at their local author book fair. On, in Perrysburg. In Perrysburg, mm -hmm. that's in the, at the end of April, okay. and so I will have some of those for sale there. Very good. And uh, oh, if you see me on the street, I'll, I've usually got one Here, in the car. Here, here's a book. Get ready. I usually got one in the car. My, you know, my husband's like sold them at uh, family reunions. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Wait, no, we got a few in the car. We got a few. Yeah. I always have one on hand. I always prepare it. And thank you so much for thank joining us this morning. Me. And I uh, hope you continue to write and enjoy it. I yeah. will. I, you know, this is all going in a book. Yeah, now. right. Oh, yeah. No, now we're in the book. We're I met these. I met these spinning ladies in the green room, and now the spinning's going. Oh, in the book. very good. Love it.